Welcome, Tiny Hands Big Dreams. We're still working on the house. We're gonna show you some of the little bits uh, in more detail, uh, just sort of as we work. Um, right now I'm, I'm working on, uh, we have these chunks of block that were left over from cutting posts. I'm gonna debark them, I'm gonna take the chainsaw and I'm gonna cut our uh, fiber for them that we're using in our natural walls. So, let you see a bit of that. The fluff must flow. This is our fiber. Um, straw doesn't really exist here, but wood fibers are pretty strong. I can make these pretty quick. So I'm going to do that for a minute. Eli is going to film me. Hopefully this time it includes my head. Me? Capturing the wild wife in her natural habitat. Building a house like a highly educated beaver. <laughs> so, there we have a giant pile of fluff. All from two little pieces of wood, two little rounds. We'll get it all in there. It's, it's probably better part of a sack. It'll last us a good while. Look at that. That's good fluff. I'll try to get it all bagged up before it rains.
There we go. Two little logs. Full set. Didn't even take me that long. So the grass grows good roots. I mean, that's, you know, that's a positive. Look at that. You, you got a couple pieces. You're in front of me? Nope. It's really good grass. <laughs> We're still struggling with poor root systems of a lot of our plants. Um, yeah, yeah. You pull them up and there's just a plum-sized root ball. That's not right. But other things grow gloriously wonderful root systems in our nicely amended soil. Look at that. That's so healthy. Oh, yes. Yeah, Big, beautiful, healthy white roots. That is a pig treat bag. Pig treat bag. Yeah, I'm trying to reset the whole garden. Yep. Try again. Pigs that eat a lot of natural greens have higher, uh, a better omega-3-6 balance and are therefore healthier to eat, in addition to being slightly more economical to feed because they're eating natural stuff. Yeah, garden reset time. We will try again. But this time we have an abundance of beautiful black compost. This should help a lot. It'll grow even better grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have some citrus. It, unfortunately, it's got some suckers going on. We need to trim some of those off. That is a grafted citrus. And what else we got? Ginger! Oh, look at the ginger! Actually, it's doing really well. Um... How much longer on the ginger? I don't know. Excellent. So we have ginger that will be done sometime. It's our first time growing ginger. Um, it does seem to be doing rather well though. So nothing's really molesting it. That's a bonus. Now those greens, piggies. <laughs> I don't have any more, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't hold it that long. Part of the problem doing YouTube videos. Somebody's got to film, which means that's a person who's not actually doing the thing. So I'm here holding this camera. My lovely wife is carrying the heavy, heavy arsing sack of greens and roots and dirt up to the pigs. You don't really think about that maybe when you see videos of like, oh, but it takes a lot of time. Also, we don't have roads to everywhere. With like a fancy, I don't know, four wheeler or something. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't have like quads and gators, <laughs> and trucks and things. What do we got? I got a semi-slippy path up the mud. Slip past the chicken coop. Which, if we stop and marvel for a second, it is holding up remarkably well. It's the only piece of wood. It continues to exist. Um, that treatment worked really well. The environment here is fairly extreme. Most all the wood disappears in fast order. We had to replace posts in our house because the giant, like 16 inch posts, literally just rotted. 
there was three feet in the ground. We took it out, the post just fell over. It was worse than wet cardboard at that point. Will be the giant pig. This pig. Where's Mrs. Piggles? There's Mrs. Piggles. Get some while it's fresh. Slow, slow down, Wilbur. Slow, ch chill. Chill. There we go. They have very different eating styles. Wilby's a fan of the jam it in my face, which when you give him grain or something, he's, he's amazingly efficient. Stuff it in face, swallow. Miss Pig likes to take her time, take little bites, chew them. Yeah, unfortunately they eat together, so it just means sometimes she eats less. Oh. She got a sweet potato. Oh, girls, you already got you. Stop it. No oh, shorts. You are the funniest of little chickens. Yeah, yeah, you.